Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is a more of a test video than anything. You get to see my gross hands because I show my fingernails, and I probably shouldn't do that. Gross, and uh, it's upside down. But you know, in post, I will flip it around, and it'll look good. It'll look normal. But uh, uh, yeah, we're going to do some. You, know, you can probably tell by the title of the video. I'm gonna open up some or look at some MTG stuff. So. Like, you know, Magic the Gathering, all that fun stuff. So, let me grab it real quick. Um, this stuff comes from Cosmic Gaming Collection. So, you can get them on Amazon. I am uh, pretty new to the whole, uh, uh, you know, Magic the Gathering thing. Uh, especially physical cards. I play mostly Arena. But I am starting to play with my friends more and more. But you can get this... Uh, pack of a thousand cards. There's a certain amount of mythic rares and rares and planeswalkers and stuff like that that you can get in this pack. There's always a guaranteed number of a certain amount of things. Uh, but there's a thousand cards total and uh, I thought it was a pretty good deal. I haven't looked at all the cards yet but I've looked at most of them. I'm already figuring exactly how you open this box so let me figure that out real quick. I think it's this side over here. It is. Okay, let me get this opened up. And we'll, we'll start looking at some cards. So let me just, uh, here, we'll just, I'll kind of stick it off to the side over here. So there we go. Um, so this side over here is the, where my hand is now, is the ones I've looked at. Like, uh, uh, let's see, like this right here, here's all the 50 basic lands. There's 10 of each color and they're, yay, and they're separate from everything else. So there you go, look at that. Yay, fun, fun. Which is going to be kind of a glare because there's plastic on it. Oops. But, uh, oh well, we'll get that uh, figured out. And, uh, of course, like I said, this is kind of a test video, so we might be doing some, uh, you know, zooming in and stuff. So, yeah, there we are. That's that's the lands. Yay. Fun, fun, fun. Fun stuff. Okay, so let's, uh, let's just get these out of the way. We'll put them down over here. Um, so... Both of these had more cards uh, in them. This one had the Mythics and Planeswalkers, which we'll actually get those out. And, you know, I think I might zoom in so you guys can actually read what the heck's going on on these cards. Um, so let me do that real quick. I wanted... I don't know, I like, but I like, you, I like you guys being able to see my Spider-Man, you know, TCG stuff, but oh well. Oh well. Okay, so yeah, look at that. Or not getting it close enough, am I? I'm not. I wasn't sure how to do this setup. I might have to try something else. But uh, because I just, you know, I'm realizing now like how far away everything is, and the camera's upside down, so it's hard for me to, you know, do everything how I need to do it. Uh, so this is this is gonna be a a learning curve. So. Uh, I don't know if you guys, I don't even know if you guys can read that. Yeah, this will be weird. Oh, let me just move the whole dang thing. Uh, maybe this is better. I think you guys can, well, I hope you guys can read that. Uh, if not, oh well. But we're, we're looking at it now, but yeah. Uh, we got some nice spiria, look at that. Uh, these are all the mythic rares. As, you know, it's a legend. That's a mythic le uh, <laughs> mythic rare. Uh, Comet Storm, which I thought was a pretty cool card. Sovereign's Realm, which I don't know if I'll ever use that, but it's a cool card. Um, we got look at look at that Planeswalker boy. Um, so that's fun. And then another another neat Planeswalker, and then another neat Planeswalker, um, which I will be using other Planeswalkers. I don't know if I'll ever use any of these cards, really. But they're nice to have. Cool to have. All that fun stuff. Uh, so let me just uh, get those back where they belong. Really quick. Of course, I'll be doing some editing and all that fun stuff. Because uh, I'll have to. <laughs> I'll have to do it. Uh, and I also didn't realize how freaking hot it was in this room. Like... Holy poop. I'm gonna go open the door real quick, so I will have to do editing for sure. Uh, okay, back I am. So, I need to get as, as zoomed as I possibly can. Is this making the shadow? This is making the shadow. 
Okay, I'm gonna set this guy uh, off to the side. Is he still making a shadow now? Okay, he's good there. Great. Okay, so now we have these guys. These are all legendary creatures, I believe. Yep, every single one of them is a legendary creature. I only recently f found out how to tell the rarity of something. I'm gonna have to really look at this to make sure I'm actually getting it up there. But uh, but yeah, I look at that. Look at that. I only recently found out to tell the, how to tell the rarity of these cards. <laughs> uh, because, like I said, I'm not, I haven't been into this very much. But uh, this card I'll probably actually use. Uh, I'll probably use, uh, I'll probably use old Rona, Corona. Probably use her. Uh, I'll probably use this one, too. All these legendary creatures are pretty good. I don't know if I'll use this one. But they're all cool. And then I have two of this, this old lady. Uh, which uh, I have actually read what she does. So... Shauna's sister's legacy can't be the target of abilities your opponent control. That's cool. It's plus one for each creature you control. Okay, okay, that makes sense, because she's a zero, zero. So she'd be at least a one, one if she was out there by herself. And she's only two mono, one green, one white. But yeah, those are some of the legendary creatures that came in there. I'll throw them back in there real quick. and Throw her back in the box. Throw them legendary creatures back in there. Uh, here are some rares and foils that I got. I came in this little guy right here. Fun, fun. Uh, but yeah, I like uh, I like the rags spell here because it's like you know everything. All creatures get negative two too. So you could do a board wipe almost if everything was weak enough. <laughs> and uh, what's this other one? Oh yeah, rags to riches. So I can only cast. You can only cast this one from the graveyard. Sorry, I'm not. I'm not going to be very good at these openings, and I apologize. Bear with me, please. Uh, but uh, what does this guy do? Let me I'm kind of turn it to the side so we can see here and I can actually read it. So each opponent chooses a creature he or she controls. You gain control of those creatures. Okay, that's pretty cool. Um, worm harvest uh, for each land in your graveyard. Okay, that's interesting. So if someone's making you mill cards and you somehow get this one in your hand, that'd be all right. Or if you're just sacrificing lands or whatever. I guess surveil could work too. Counter target spell, Awaken. I'd say I don't know what the Awaken stuff. Spell for a man. That's a little mana. Also put three plus one counters on target land you control and it becomes a zero zero elemental creature with haste. It's still a land. Okay, that's pretty nice. Uh, and these are going to be all all rares or uh, foils or something like, you know, along those lines. Uh, I don't really use blues a lot, but that card's pretty neat. Uh, that one's not too bad. Uh, I like that card too. Let's see. Uh, let's... Oh, that's, that's pretty neat too. All these rares are actually pretty neat. I really do like a lot of these cards. Uh, wow, okay, that's pretty, pretty awesome too. Seer Sundial. I don't look at all these cards, so let's see what this guy does. The new draw card. Neat. Uh, an amulet equipped creature gets a plus two and zero and has vigilance. And at the beginning of your upkeep, draw a card. Nice. Catch a rather consulate. Uh, not really a card I'll probably ever use much. Uh, okay, that's pretty pretty neat creature. Don't know if I'll ever use that guy. I guess of the mirror. Uh, exchange life totals by sacrificing this guy. That is pretty hot, I'm not gonna lie. Hey, here's a foil, look at that. Good old foil. Oh, here, look at that, another foil. I think the right, well, I think a good number of them are gonna be foils now. Foil, foil. Let me put these right here, ones we've gone through. More, more foil, another foil. Yet another foil. Own of Heroism. This is a card that I will use in some white decks. Uh, are we done with foils? Nope, another foil. Oh, I haven't looked at this card. On each creature you control, if at least three white mono was spent to cast a spell, creatures you control gain vigilance until it return. Okay, that's pretty neat. I don't look at this one either. You gain X life and each opponent loses X life, where X is the number of knights you control. Nice. And this creature has lifelink. Uh, another, another foil. That's a nice one. Goblin Assault Team. Hey, if some Goblin Assault Team dies, put a plus one, plus one counter on target creatures you control. Nice. Prismite, I've, I've got I've got a few prismites. 
And then this Mirror Servitor, beginning of keep, if Mirror Servitor is on the battlefield, each player returns all cards named Mirror Servitor from the graveyard to the battlefield. Nice. So those are my, those are some other rares and foils that I have. And then we have some other stuff to look at. But first, before we actually go through this whole box, uh, we'll go through some of the uh, white and black cards that I have, and uh, some of the other, like, colorless and all that fun stuff. As soon as I get these freaking cards in here, because I can't seem to get them in there. There we go. I figured it out. I did it. Yay. Be happy. Be uh, congratulatory, everyone. I did it. Okay, so I have taken some cards out of there, put them in this guy right here. Uh, it holds three decks. It has an auto-locking feature and all kinds of fun stuff like that. So uh, here is some uh, other fun things. This will be uh, some like planeswalkers, I think, some legendary creatures, um, and a lot of colorless stuff in here. Cards that I really liked that I pulled out. So we got uh, good old. Uh, also, I, I don't know how to say this. Sorry if I botch a lot of these names. I'm going to do that. Uh, but Elspeth uh, Undaunted Hero, I guess is the best way to put it. I really hope you guys can read that from down here because this will be more comfortable for me. Maybe I just need to zoom in more again because I'm bad at this. Uh, I'm going to zoom in a little bit more. Oh. Okay. We all know it's a Spider-Man playmat. Oh, I'm running over my own shoe with my chair. Man, this is... I'm totally botching this, y'all. I I have... The, this is the most, most unorthodox setup ever. 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 It's uh, it's very bad. But, uh, no, I really like this uh, Planeswalker a lot. The abilities are cool. Pretty fun. Uh, I liked hers, too. Um, uh, old Kaya here. You know, your opponent's impermanent. Your opponent's control with Hexproof can be the targets of spells and abilities. You control as though they didn't have Hexproof, which I think is super cool. And she comes out as a 7. Uh, she only has a negative 3 ability, but it's the exile target creature. And if they have Hexproof, oh well. You know, they're gone. And then, I really like this guy, Arvend the Cursed. I'm thinking about using him in a commander deck, because I'm starting to get into that. And a lot of my friends play commander decks, and I think he will be great for... Uh, as a commander, uh, I think she'll be great to use in a commander deck because the commander deck I'm going to make is black and white. Um, she'll be great to use, but maybe not as my commander. Um, this guy's a really cool legendary creature. I really liked his stuff, old Valduke, Keeper of the Flame. Here's where we're getting to some of the colorless stuff for, you know, some cool land that I liked. Like, I thought this Blighted Step was neat. Uh, I like the artwork on this land. Uh, I like the Snowland one, you add Colorless. Um, I like this Artifact creature. If you exile it, each opponent chooses two cards in his or her graveyard and exiles the rest, which is pretty dope. This Howling Golem I thought was pretty good, because whenever Howling Glo uh, Golem attacks or blocks, each player draws a card. I thought that was pretty neat. I have a, three of these Jousting Lances, and I just thought they were going to be pretty useful. You know, they just they just seem like they're pretty good. I like this Universal Automaton. He's a changeling, which means so he's every card type, and he's only one mana. He's colorless. He's great. I thought I'd use him in quite a bit of stuff. I thought he'd be fun to use. Um, this Bastion Mastodon, uh, he seems pretty good. Give him Vigilance until end of turn for one mana. That's pretty great. Uh, target creature can't block uh, the, what, Kozilix Pathfinder this turn. For spending a colorless mana, which is pretty good. Then we got like an artifact vehicle, which I thought was pretty good. <laughs> that these are all cards I just thought were super cool. Um, this uh, Nar Narnum Cobra I thought was pretty great. I liked it a lot. And this Gilded Sentinel, and then this uh, Pith Driller <laughs> made me laugh. I think yeah, there's two of them. Uh, but yeah, that, those are all cards I thought would be pretty great uh, to use. So. Let me uh, let me do something real quick. I need to get them back in the order I want for this case. So this will take some time. Get to do some editing. Super fun. Hopefully I can edit everything how I want to edit it. Um, so if this video looks 
kind of long, then there's either parts I forgot to edit, or I just completely didn't edit it at all, and bad, bad on me. Bad on me, you guys can shame me for it. Um, Alright, so now let's get a look at the white cards I really liked, that I would already been through. Which is probably like, there's probably over a hundred cards here, it'll be a lot. It'll be nice and fun though. Alright, let me get this back out of the way. Ugh, pump my back maybe. Or maybe, maybe sit back. See if I can reach that far. Can I reach that far? I can. Okay. Man, this deck is... There's a lot of white cards in here, so we're gonna... Uh, we're gonna break it in half and do... Do one half and then the next half. Uh, but yeah, so... These are all cards that I am going to use in a white deck. Like, for sure, going to use. Like this Glaring Aegis... The Steadfast Sentry. Uh, I'll let you guys, because I I think you guys can read them from here. I don't know. The the little thing is too small for me to read it, but it looks like it's big enough on the screen that you guys can read it. Um, so I don't think it'll be that big of a deal. But I will go kind of slow going through these cards to get a look at it, so you guys know what's going on. Uh, some of these things are in a what they do, thanks to, like, Arena, like I know, Dawning Angel, you get four life when it enters the battlefield. This one I'd never seen before, but, you know, he caught, you can cast him and tap him to get life. Of course, Pacifism is great. Uh, Loxodon Restorer, uh, yeah, you gain four life when he comes in. The Hunted Witness, when he dies, create a 1-1 one, one soldier with lifelink. Uh, what does this guy do? He's got First Strike and Mentor. Okay. Luminous Bonds, which is like a worse version of <laughs> Pacifism. I'll probably use it, though. Uh, oh, yeah, this Pack Beast card it was neat, I thought. Another Luminous Bonds. Uh, oh, yeah, I liked this one. Yeah. That was a pretty good one. Another Pack Beast. Arrestor Zeal, what's that? Oh, it gets plus two to plus two. Okay. Neat, neat. Uh, oh, and I gained two life. And there's another desperate lunge. Another desperate lunge. Man. Uh, Parthelian Patrol, Flying of Vigilance, and has Mentor. Okay. Watchful Giant. Watchful Giant is cool. I like that one. So when it enters the battlefield, you make a creature token, and then, like, you know, he's got six life, which I thought was pretty great. Uh, Gilded Light. I can gain Shroud until end of turn. Can't be the target of spells or abilities. Nice. Uh, I guess I didn't really look at that card. Or I forgot about it. Target creature control gains protection from the color of your choice until end of turn. And you draw a card. That's cool. Uh, chain creature plus one has vigilance. Heck yeah. And then there's another one of those cards. Uh, Reprobation. What does this one do? Uh, there's all ability, and is a coward creature with base power and toughness 01. That is awesome. Uh, a regular cohort. This is a changing, so it's every type, because it's a good old shapeshifter. Uh, so when it enters the battlefield, create a 2-2 two -two colorless shapeshifter creature token with changeling. Nice. Uh, what does this one do? Convoke. Uh, battlefield, you control no tapped lands, put 2 plus 1 plus 1 counters on it. Nice. Face of Divinity, I thought was pretty good. It's a plus two, plus two, and they get first strike and lifelink. This hawk is an elemental, it's flying. Uh, you return target creature card with power one or less from a graveyard to the battlefield. So it's like a not as good version of Mothra for, in Icoria. Uh, the Reprobation, Sentinel of the Eternal Watch, what's this one? It has Vigilance. At the beginning of combat on each opponent's turn, tap target creature that player controls. Oh, okay. I got two, I got three of those. Ooh, Fencing Ace is just a double strike boy. Faith Unbroken, chant creature you control. Get plus two, plus two. I'm gonna enter the battlefield, exile target creature and opponent controls until this guy leaves the battlefield. And I've got two of those guys. Geist of the Moors flying. I think a. I don't know, I think I just like the art a lot on that one. And then there's uh, Enchanted Creature, it's plus two, plus five, and it's also a cycling. I think I really liked the plus five on the, you know, on the health and stuff. I was like, yeah, now that's pretty nice. Okay, we'll kind of, we'll put, we'll put them right here. Like, boom, there's half of them. And boom, here's the, here's the next half. I hope I kept my hands in the right spot that whole time. I just realized I 
wasn't really in a good spot this whole time, but having these cards here will help because I'll know, hey, keep your hands around this area, dork. Uh, and block an additional creature, has a Vigilance and has a plus two, plus two, that's nice. A Queen's Commission, create two one one life, uh, white vampire creature tokens with lifelinks. Wait, Sarah, Sarah's Angel is just a, it's flying at Vigilance. A pacifism where its art is really cool. I like that pacifism art. I really like Karoon. The next one damage that would be dealt to target creature this turn is dealt to another target creature instead and you draw a card and I have three of those guys. Boom. Uh, this guy I thought was really cool because of the whole level up thing, getting vigilance and when he's level 4 plus he has a 310. I was like that's awesome. And he only costs 2 to cast. I have this uh, impassioned orator and I think I have like three of these guys in the deck. Knight of New Banalia. Uh, I think I just really like the artwork. I do have some colorless guys in here, and I think this one's a foil. He is. Peace Dragger. When he enters the battlefield, get three life. That's why I have him in here. You know, three life. Put three 1-1 one, one white warrior creature tokens onto the battlefield. That one I don't know if I'll ever use, but I think I just like the artwork. Uh, Demotion. Uh, wow, I can't... So... The enchanted creature can't block, and its activated abilities can't be activated. So, almost as good as pacifism, but it can still attack. So, if there's any of those creatures that have a crazy ability, it's just like, here you go. Uh, Corn Tangler's Rally. Okay, yeah, I, I thought this would be good for, you know, all, the, all them Corb boys and allies and all that stuff. It'd be useful. Target player sacrifices an attacking or blocking creature. Cool. Yeah, I think I, I liked that one. Am I getting it? Am I still in a good spot? I hope I'm still in a good spot. Uh, attacks, tap target creature and opponent controls. That's why I liked this skull, hammer skull boy. Uh, more do woe reaper. What does this guy do? Uh, okay, if you do, you gain one life. Cool. Exiling, and if I do exile from the graveyard, I get life. Nice, nice you. Destroy target creature with power. Ooh, three or greater, and then scry one. And then, yeah, that's a nice card. Flash, yeah. And it's a defender wall. Yay. Uh, here's one that can be, you know, cast with white or black. He's just a lifelink creature, so of course he's going in my white deck. Uh, I like this one because I can tap him and prevent damage to certain things. Another cool pacifism art card. Uh, a raptor, it's just a flying boy when he enters the... Battlefield support too, so you put plus one one counter on each of up to two target creatures, which is nice. Healing Grace, which is cool. For the next three damage, that would be dealt to you by to any target this turn by a source of your choice, and you gain three life, which is cool. Another luminous bonds. Candlelight Vigil. Ah, uh, this one's nice. Gives gives vigilance and the plus three plus two. This one I thought was really good. When this tactician guy enters the battlefield, creatures you control get plus one plus one until end of turn. That's pretty cool. I like the Nagasoros. They can block more than one creature. I think they can block two, maybe. Um, this one's pretty nice, if I can ever get it to work. I don't know if I'll actually use it. I just thought it was good. And there's the other two. Impassioned Orators. Another Watchful Giant. Bring to target. Exile a target creature with power four or greater. Nice. I have two of these guys. Tap up the two target creatures, or it's cycling. Thought that would be super handy. Sandblast deals 5 damage to target or attacking or blocking creature, which I thought was super nice. So you can exert this soul, Avenger Lady. Uh, you prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to it this turn. Exerting means it doesn't untap until the next end step. So I had to learn what that was. Ghost of Possession, Enchanted Creature has flying. Prevent all combat damage that would be dealt to and dealt by Enchanted Creature. So if you have an Enchanted Creature that has a really good, like, you put this on a creature with an awesome ability uh, that activates a lot, but you don't want it to fight or anything like that, uh, then there you go. Because even if someone uses it to block or attack or makes it attack them or it fights, it's, there's no damage will be done to it. They're going to have to use a spell that exiles it or destroys it or something like that. So that's cool. Another Candlelight kind of Vigil, another Luminous Bonds, Sworn Companions. That's, uh, yeah, 2 one, one White Soldier creature tokens with lifelink, and then a healer's hawk. Look at that. So those are the white cards there. We're going to make quite the long video, but that's okay. That is okay. I'm not worried about that. So, I probably will have to go get my drink, though. I'm getting quite thirsty. 
So let's get these white boys back in here. Um, we got to look at the black cards, so that'll be interesting. Uh, I was going to also use this video to sort through the cards in here. Uh, since this is like practice and all that fun stuff. But uh, I don't know if I'll actually sort. We'll just look at cards <laughs> instead. Uh, so now we're going to look at the cards that I liked that were black. Good old, good old swampy boys. So, got ourselves a pretty big... Uh, deck here, so of course murder, we know what that does, it destroys target creature. So this Feral Abomination has Death Touch, that's why I like it. Agonizing Siphon is pretty great because, you know, you deal 3 tar damage to any cre like any target at all, you gain 3 life, that's why I like it. Uh, you may exile a target creature card from a graveyard if you do create a 2-2 black zombie creature token when you, enter the, when you cast this guy, which I thought was pretty great. Uh, you can return this guy from the graveyard back to your hand. That's why I liked him. Uh, Sorcerer of the Fang. Uh, if you spend six and tap him, Sorcerer of the Fang deals two damage to target opponent or Planeswalker, which I thought was pretty nice. Um, just a lot of mana is all that was. Uh, Epic Hero of Blood. Whenever you gain life, each opponent loses one life. Cool. Uh, Spinal Centipede, when he dies, you put a plus one, plus one counter on another target creature. Never happened. Target opponent reveals their hand. You choose an online card from that player's graveyard or hand and exile it. Neat. I have, what, two of those? Yeah. This one's a black or red. When Footlight Fiend dies, it deals one damage to any target. That's why I like that guy. This is another one of those guys from the white deck, but I put him in the black because I already had one in the white deck. And I have some lifelink in here. Uh, a target creature gains death touch until end of turn, you draw a card, so, boom. Noxious Gridian, he just has death touch. I like death touch a lot. There's another uh, Footlight Fiend. Sworn Thirst, deal two damage to target creature and you gain two life. Gluttonous Slug has Menace and Evolve, uh, so I thought that was pretty nice. Defile, target creature gets nine, minus one, minus one until you uh, end the turn for each swamp you control, which I thought was super cool. Uh, Word Eye Witch, uh, whenever Word Eye Witch or another creature you control dies, scry one. So I want that guy. Alright, target player discards two cards. Yeah, and what's Overload do? Uh, with each. Okay, if I overload, it's each. And I have another Mind Drake in here. Uh, choose one. Target creature gets plus two, plus two. Target creature is minus one, minus one, or you gain two life. Okay. I know why I went with that one. <laughs> uh, Mardu Strike Leader. When he attacks, put a 2-1 Black Warrior Creature token onto the battlefield. And he has Dash. If you do, it gains Haste. Okay. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, Crypt Incursion. Exile all creature cards from target player's graveyard. You gain 3 life for each card exile this way. Okay, that's pretty awesome. Uh... Of course, Death Touch. Multicolored creatures you control have Death Touch. Okay, that's cool. Another Crypt Incursion. Another Crypt Incursion. Uh, this guy I liked because uh, he can't be blocked except by rogues. I was like, cool. Uh, Blank Keeper has Flying. And if you spend 8 mana, at least one of them black, sacrifice Blight Keeper, target opponent loses 4 life, and you gain 4 life. Heavy, heavy cost, but it's... Pretty good ability. Uh, Tarmac opponent reveals his or her hand. You choose, okay. Yeah, we've already looked at the guy. Ghoul Draz Vampire. As long as opponent has 10 or less life, this old Gruul buddy gets plus 2, plus 1, and has Intimidate. It can't be blocked except by artifact creatures and or creatures that share a color with it. Okay. Didn't know what Intimidate was. Now I do. Uh, Alright, and that's basically the same card almost. It just doesn't have as many abilities. Group of Desolation. The Void. This card has no color. Exile target creature and target land. Okay. That's cool. Uh, Insatiable Harpy. Flying and lifelink. That's why I went with it. Uh, it's a 2-2, which is nice. But the mana is kind of like, woo! Uh, this boy's a defender. So that's probably why I went with him. He's a pretty strong defender, too. And I can tap another untapped creature you control, and this guy gets plus one, plus one until end of turn, so that's nice. This guy's got lifelink. Uh, this creature's just a 3-7. I was like, yeah, he'd be a good blocker. <laughs> Destroy target creature. 
Consign to the pit deals two damage to that creature's controller, so that's cool. I like that one. Uh, Flayed Nim, whenever Flayed Nim deals combat damage to a creature, that creature's controller loses that much life. And then you can also regenerate this boy, which is nice. Uh, so the fucking Wrath Noble, what's this guy do? He's flying whenever the Noble Boy or another creature dies, target player loses one life and you gain one life. Nice. Right of the Precinct 6, uh, it's plus one plus one for each creature card in your opponent's graveyards. Okay. Uh, Whispering Spectre has flying and has infect. Okay. Deals combat damage to a player, you may sacrifice it. If you do, that player discards a card for each poison counter he or she has. Okay. That's pretty nice. Uh, Mind Rat, so they discard two cards. Under Cities Embrace, target opponent sacrifices a creature. If you control a creature with power 4 or greater, you gain 4 life. Sweet. Uh, this is, uh, was this the Void, so it has no color, has ingest. Uh, so I thought it was a pretty neat card. A lot of these I either like the art or the abilities, so that's why I go with them. Uh, in a lot of cases, it's the art. <laughs> so, <laughs> bear with me there. Is this getting in the way? It's not. Okay. I need to, I need more arm room. Alright, so, Nightmaker Lookout. Jumps tapped, each opponent loses one life and you gain one life. Cool. Nice. Another one of those vampires with lifelink. Uh, Terror card, okay, we've seen this guy already. This guy got death touch. This is an enchantment. You're gonna get your upkeep, ill-gotten inheritance, deals one damage to each opponent and you gain one life, which I thought was super cool. And I can sacrifice him, and it deals four damage to target opponent and I gain four life, but... He'll just be an enchantment who sits out there and deals damage to people. Especially in the free-for-all matches we have, that'll be really good. We've already seen him. We've already seen him, I think. Maybe not. That's Fabricate, though. We've already seen the Never Happened, though. Hired Poisoner doesn't got a Death Touch. Dead Weight, which is great. Chant Creature gets negative two, negative two. Vicious Rumors deals one damage to each opponent. Each opponent discards a card, then puts the top card of their library into their graveyard. You gain one life. That's pretty great. I like that one a lot, and it's one mana. I have another never happened. I have another Vicious Rumors. Demonic Figure. Chant Creature gets plus one, plus one. When this dies, I return this card to the hand. Yay. That's pretty great. Wow. I didn't realize how many cards there were. Uh, Blessing of Belzalock? Belzalock? Gets plus two, plus one until end of turn. If it's legendary, it also gets lifelink until end of turn. Okay. Rat Colony. It's plus one for each other rat you control. And they can have any number of cards named Rat Colony. Heck yeah. Fungal Infection. Target creature gets minus one, minus one until end of turn. Create a 1-1 one, one green Saperloin. Saperloin. Another Demonic Vigor. Falcon Shriek, do I? Uh, for each taken creature you control, you gain that much life. Okay. Another Falcon Shriek. Another Falcon Shriek. Hand of Silugimar? No, I don't. Uh, I got. He's got Death Touch, so I'll be using it. Target player discards two cards. Good old Mind Rot. Is that different art from the other ones? It must be. Uh, Farika's Curse deals two damage to target creature, and you gain two lives. So it's basically Soren's Thirst, and then I have another Vicious Rumors. Those are my blacks right there. And now we have a bunch of other cards to go through, but I'm gonna go get a drink. So we will be back in a second. <laughs> for that fun, fun stuff. <laughs> so let me do this real quick. Oops. Just make a bunch of noise doing that. Okay. The other cards we're just gonna go through and we're gonna see their rarities and stuff. That's the plan. I'm not really worried about colors and abilities or anything like that. I can do that on my own time, but I am curious to see the rarities and stuff. So I'll be right back. Yay. Put that there for reference later. Yeah. Oh, no. All right. I am back, boys and girls. Time to look at some more cardios. I don't know if I can actually grab some out of my freaking hand. Boy, howdy. Okay. So, let's look at 
uh, look at these guys real quick, and I'm just going to kind of like that, boom, boom. Uh, so, let's see, because I'm tired of holding them, you know, I'm like, ugh. It's because it's so hot in this room. Uh, but yeah, so let's see. Uh, get any rares, got some common, 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 another common, more commons, common, ooh, uncommon, common, 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 oh, it's a cool card, but it's common. Hey, here's an uncommon. Commons. Uh, I think that's another kind of common, 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 uh, common, 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 common. Look at, look at all this. Look at all this stuff. Oh, I'm getting them not in where they need to be. I'm very bad at this. <laughs> uh, let's see. Hey, look at that in, uh, uncommon. That's a pretty, uh, that's a pretty good card, actually. I have to use that. Uncommon, uncommon. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. Oh, another uncommon. Oh, an uncommon. <gasps> uncommon. <laughs> uncommon. Uncommon. Oh, uncommon. Oh, uncommon. Oh, uncommon. Oh, <laughs> uncommon. Oh, there's a common. And there's a common. Oh, a common. Okay, let's get these boys more like over, over here. Yeah. So, common. Common, 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 uncommon, woo! Common, 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 a common, another common, it's a sliver, or silver, sliver, that's what it is, a sliver, hey, there's a common, and a common, and a common, and a Common, common, common. Hey, look at that. And uncommon. Ooh, and another uncommon. And common. A common. A common. Alright, now there's not really all that many cards, so I'll pull them up here. Some commons. Hey, hey, uncommon. Another uncommon. Common. Common, common. Ooh, look at that. What is that? That's rare. Rare guy right there. Nice. Alright. For all these boys over here. I saw some cards that I liked in there. It's pretty cool. Pretty cool and neat and fun. Okay. There's another big group of cards. I can I can hold these guys this time. Well, it, it's not that big of a deal. I just realized I'm, like, I'm just being a silly boy. But that's a common. That's common. That's common. Uh, oh, another common. Common. You know, if I don't say anything, we know. We know what it is. I'll only say something if it's not a common. How about that? So it's not so annoying, and so I don't like completely get my voice out. But I will be using that on summon whenever I do use my any blue decks. But I use blue and red probably the least. So, yeah. I use white and black the most. Uh, and then green probably right after that. Hey, look at that, an uncommon. Lots of blues, lots and lots of blues. But I'm seeing a lot of cards that I like. Hey, look at that, an uncarmen. An uncarmen? Uncommon. And that's a pretty good one. Counter target creature spell and draw card. Nice common. Oh, uncommon. Look at that. Oh. I'm slowly reading these. I'm at least reading the name too as I look at their stuff. You know, so. And we're going to comment in the name, uh, which I'm probably going too fast, but oh well. This is a long video. Hey, look at that, an uncommon. So you watch Sphinx. Uh, 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 
Man, lots of capture spears. Boy, howdy. Ooh, I like that gruel locket. Let's go artwork. Yeah, look at that, an uncommon. Maybe I should fix that a little bit. Look at that, an uncommon. Pink drop in blood. And another uncommon. Spire Mangler. Okay. Look at that. Getting some uncommons and stuff at least. Any of the cards on the side I'm probably not going to you know, use ever. Probably going to end up selling at some point. So, you know, that'll be fun. Okay, so now I get to figure out if I've actually looked at all these cards or not. So that'll be fun. Uh, no, I have not. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no. I don't want these guys to fall over, but they did. Alright. Now I can get all these cards back in there. <laughs> Man, the editing, that will be done on this boy. Uh, a thousand cards is a lot to go through, everyone. I don't know if you guys knew that or not, but it is. <laughs> but it is. Okay. So, let's see what we have here. Alright, so. Uh, what is this guy? Oh, it just, there's kind of a glare. It was a con. Oopsie poopsie. Must there be nothing but commons in this group of cards? Wanted that to be hilarious. Just means I'd have quite a few cards to be selling eventually. <laughs> no. I was kidding. There's actually a lot of these cards I like the artwork of, or I like the thing they do. Uh, they seem pretty neat. Hey, look at that. An uncommon. Here's another land. This is your library for a basic land. Yuck, yeah. And then a bunch of lands all right in a row. The commons. Look at that. Ain't no basic land, though. Those cards are all kinds of lands. Can I? Can I grab you, please? Okay. My dear Lord. Dear Lord. Okay. So that's one. That's one side, ladies and gents. Literally, well, more than one side. But we still have some on this other side. So we're gonna do it like this. Hey, and the one on top is an uncommon, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. Look at that. Good old uncommon. And another uncommon. And another uncommon. And another uncommon. And another uncommon. <laughs> well, found out where they're all at. Uncommon. Over here. Uncommon. 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 I think the white is uncommon, right? Hey, here's some uncommons. What do these guys do? Oh, it's Flower and Flourish. Okay, I know what they do. Uncommon. Ooh, there's some sweet cards over here. Hey, a foil. Nice, Sue. I said, there's random cards in here besides the guaranteed. Say, so more foils or more mythic rares. Hey, here's an uncommon. Or more rares or uncommons or maybe more planeswalkers than you were supposed to get. Uncommon. 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 <gasps> uncommon. Uncommon. Okay, that boy's not. Oh, uncommon. <laughs> hey, there's that boy. Alright, now we're starting to get back. Oh, never mind. Uncommon. Like, we're starting to get into the common boys again. Hey, look at that. Uncommon. Ooh, and I like that. Ooh, that's cool. I like the look of that card. Oh, 
uh, uncommon, 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 uncommon. Dear Lord, uncommon. Now we're getting into the commons. Creature, cat. Wow, one, a one six. Look at it. Look at it. Yeah, so like the last one be like mythic rare or something, you know. <laughs> Not the case. Not the case. Uh, oh, I realized I wasn't really looking at names that time, so I kind of probably I probably went too fast. But oh well. There's a lot of cards, y'all. Mm. Uh, delicious. Okay, so. Here's more. Here's more, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, some of these I've already seen in the comments. I like this one's artwork. There's a lot of artwork I like. Pretty neat. Hey, an uncommon. Ooh, an uncommon. Oh, an uncommon. Ooh, an uncommon. Oh, an uncommon. What? An uncommon? No way, an uncommon. <gasps> Another uncommon. Whoa, an uncommon. Holy crap, an uncommon. Holy shit, an uncommon. Holy fucking uncommon. Holy moly, an uncommon. Oh, Jesus, it's an uncommon. Oh, it's another uncommon. And another uncommon. Whoa. Another uncommon. Uncommon? Uncommon. Okay. <laughs> Uh, hmm? uh, come on, let's get some uncommons going in here. I didn't get enough. Hey, there's an uncommon. All right. Hey, that, we we had a we had a streak of uncommons there. That was that was pretty nice. And we're also getting through quite a bit of these cards now. So, we're getting closer to being done, everyone. Hey, an uncommon. 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 Is this... Oh, oh no. Uh, nope. Okay. Well, hey. All these guys. Ooh, look at that. Bunch of uncommons in here. Look at that. Look at that. Super cool. I'm really bad at this, and I apologize. Uh, it's I'm mainly blaming it on the setup because it is not a good setup. It's very unorthodox. It's very poopy, poopy suckies. Hey, that's an uncommon, uncommon. This one. Uh, well, yeah, this one I guess we'll never know. Don't know. Some of these cards must be old enough that they don't have anything. Hey, an uncommon. An uncommon, an uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Another uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. I put my hand all the way up here. Dang, uncommon. We'll do that. Another uncommon, uncommon. I like a lot of these cards. They're super cool. Uncommon, <gasps> uncommon, 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 uncommon. Uncommon, 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 uncommon. Oh, I probably am going too fast, and I apologize. Though all these cards aren't new either, so it's probably not that big a deal to some of you, or most of you. I'm mainly doing it to pass the time, and uh, I should should probably wait to get like a good setup, not this unorthodox one I have. Uh, like, So I'm in a small, cramped area. Um, my camera is reversing the view right now because of where it's at. Um, I have to zoom in. The room is very hot. I am in a chair that is 
small and the table that I'm at is actually a sewing table so <laughs> my legs don't go completely under it at all actually uh, they, my knees barely get under it and that's it so that's been really fun and cool and I can't fit more than the one light that is over it's it's over there it's over it's over there that's where the light is I would like two lights so it would eliminate any shadows, but I can't. Not in the room I'm in, unfortunately. Hey, an uncommon. An uncommon. 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 Is this not a good spot? Okay. I want, and that's another thing, like, if I could get the setup how I'd want it, I would have a monitor for my camera literally, like, right in front of me, and I'd know what the camera was saying. Like, just in my peripheral vision. By peripheral, I mean, like, literally just, like, behind, like, right over here. So it's, like, right over there, and I would know. Hey, look at that, non common. It'd be great. It'd be fantastic, y'all. It'd be so totally awesome. Hey, non common. Instead, we get this not awesome stuff. Uncommon. 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 Oh. Foil. <laughs> not sure. Then there's those other ones who didn't have nothing earlier. They didn't have nothing that would tell me what it was. And that was. That was strange to me. There's a lot of strange things in magic to me, though. Hey, uncommon. And another uncommon. And an uncommon. And an uncommon. And an uncommon. And an uncommon. Another uncommon. Another uncommon. 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 Another uncommon. Oh, another uncommon. Last but not least, an uncommon. Sweet. We're getting close for being done, ladies and gentlemen, if anyone's still here watching. Because uh, I kind of doubt it, and that's okay. And more than anything, this is practice. So, yeah. <laughs> okay. All right, can I sit back and do it? Ugh. I cannot. Why is, why are you, why are you there? Why are you there? That don't make no sense. Okay. Interesting. Alright. Uh, uncommon. 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 Man, yeah, we saw those, a hammer dropper earlier. I mean, we've seen a lot of these logos. They're in a weird mix. And I haven't been through all these yet, so I'm still looking at them at least a little bit. I just look at things fast. And it's a issue uh, that's been brought up to me before. Hey, an uncommon, uh, but I can't really control it all that great. Uncommon, uncommon, because uh, I forget what I'm doing. Uncommon, and I act like I'm the only person who's actually here. And yeah, and uncommon, 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 and uncommon. 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 Some lands. Quite a bit of lands. Oh. A reckless imp. Hey, an uncommon. Scorchmark. I like that name. And the art. Bring the trial. I already have one of those. 
and my whites, but that's cool. Hey, hey, guys, we're getting even closer to being done. Holy moly. I think now what I should do is grab the rest of the cards that were left in there, put these other cards up. That's what I should do. Don't fall over, Mr. Cards. Uh, that's not allowed. We don't need that. Uh, okay. This is just more editing I have to do. Don't worry, guys. Hopefully I remembered. And you guys aren't hearing me even say this right now. Because <laughs> I should have brought my notebook in here and wrote down notes. Because I can still see the time. I just have to read it upside down. Flipping that will be fun. Be real fun and cool and neat and stuff. Okay. Uh, alright, there we go, we're in the right spot. Hey, that's an uncommon. Nice. I like whatever that set right here was, little logo, that was cool. Hey, an uncommon. 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 Ooh. What is this one? Let's do damage to each opponent and you gain new life. And the third thing, it does damage to you. Oh. No. Yep. It was really cool until the third part. <laughs> I'll probably still end up using it, though. In a deck that will allow me to use it. Hey, look at that. An uncommon. Ooh, same card, so it's an uncommon. Ooh. Nullify. Hey, and an uncommon. <laughs> Yay. Gotta love those things rarer than rarer than commons. <laughs> okay. Get this guy in here, like this. Have some more cards to go through. We are almost done, ladies and gents. All right, here we are. Boom, we are hither. Here's an uncommon, and another uncommon. Uncommon, ooh, I like that card. Uncommon. One of the newer cards I recognize from Arena, because I use a bunch of them. Ooh, uncommon. Uncommon. And hopefully the audio is good on this too, and that's something else I get to check. Yay. Probably better with the door open, actually. I don't have to record the rest of these openings when it's uh, not as hot in the room. So probably like tomorrow morning, probably be the best time I should I could do it. Hey, an uncommon! Oh, look at that! Is that a that is a rare right there? Whenever you cast an enchantment spell, put a four-four white angel creature token with flying onto the battlefield. Nice. That's a nice. I like that a lot. Heck yeah. Now I can go through the rest of the cards. Okay, we're in a good enough spot. But, uh, ooh, an uncommon. But, uh, yeah, I have some, I have a Core Set 2021 booster box to open uncommon. Uncommon. So that'll, that should be fun. That's why I wanted to do this, like, uh, pseudo, kind of, not really a booster box. Uncommon thing opening from Cosmic Gaming Collections. They're really good. I got a great deal on it. Uh, some of my, the cards that I already looked at before this video, I'd shown some friends and they liked a lot of the cards that were in it. They're like, this is pretty good. So 
that made me happy. Um, so I, so I'd say if you guys want to just get a bunch of cards into your inventory, uh, you should buy this pack off of Amazon from Cosmic Gaming Collection. It's pretty great. Um, at least I think so. I'm still pretty new, so I don't know if you take my judgment on it, but uh, you can uh, listen to my buds who do know magic quite a bit and are and like it a lot. I think that's an uncommon. Uh, and the last card is not an uncommon, but it's a card I've never seen before. Game three life. Uh, cool. When he's put in the graveyard. Okay. Well, that's nice. Uh, but yeah, uh, there we have it, guys. That is all of the um, cards that were in the Cosmic Gaming Collections box. Comes in this box right here. It's pretty sweet. Um, it has like the security tape on there and stuff like that so you know if it's been opened already or not mine was not already opened or anything like that so that was great uh but yeah thanks everyone for watching the video i i appreciate yay um and hopefully i'll do some other openings that are they're gonna be way shorter and i will have made improvements by then hopefully i'll probably still be in this room because i don't have any other way and it's a very unorthodox setup like I said so yeah but I'll still make improvements uh anyways thanks again for watching and toodaloo